is having a big stomach a sign of fibroids is having a big stomach a sign of fibroids jared massa the health educator is the name of the channel and today we are going to answer a question by one of our subscribers who asked and said is having a big stomach a sign of fibroids after this short break we are talking about all this Thank you my friend for staying around we are answering a question by one of our subscribers who asked and said is having a big stomach a sign of fibroids the first thing we shall talk about here is if at all you are a woman and you are having a big stomach you are having a big tummy you should not come to the conclusion that you could be having fibroids the main reason is that many times the stomach increase could be attributed to probably you are adding on on weight putting on more weight but still the best way to confirm this if you are a woman and you are having a big stomach or a big tummy it's to do what we call a pelvic ultrasound scan to answer this question we shall begin by answering the by we shall begin by talking about an ultrasound scan an ultrasound scan is a test or it is an investigation which can be done in hospital by your doctor who will get images or whereby images will be taken showing your reproductive system how your ovaries are how your fallopian tubes are and then how your womb is if at all you are a woman and you are having a big stomach much as we can say that it's not a sign of fibroids but there's a percentage of women who will actually be having fibroids so if you have noticed an increase in your stomach size an increase in how your tummy is then please go ahead and do a pelvic ultrasound scan you can also go ahead and do other tests but the most important step you need to take is do a pelvic ultrasound scan a pelvic ultrasound scan will show many things if you are a woman and you, your stomach has increased please do a pelvic ultrasound scan that is the only way to confirm whether you could be having fibroids or you are not having fibroids remember if you are having a big stomach or you are having lots of fat around your belly lots of fat around your pelvic area you have an increased chance of getting fibroids because there's an increase there's a study which was done and it was discovered it was identified that if a woman if a woman has lots of fat around her belly there's going to be release of some hormones which can increase or there's going to be an increased increased production of the hormone known as estrogen which can actually end up causing fibroids accumulating or fibroids growing in your womb so is having a big stomach a sign of fibroids it could be a sign of fibroids it could not be a sign of fibroids the best way to confirm this is by doing a pelvic ultrasound scan a pelvic ultrasound scan as we've said it can show pictures in real time of how your womb is so thank you my friend i hope i've answered your question but also as a word of addition a big stomach or a big tummy could also be a sign of cysts cysts are fluid filled masses or it could also be a sign of endometriosis endometriosis is the growth of uterine tissue outside the uterus so remember if you are having a big stomach you've noticed that your tummy has increased of late please do a pelvic ultrasound scan and then your doctor will show you what the results are Gerard Massa the health educator is the name of the channel I welcome you my friend on this channel if it's your first time subscribe so that you do not miss any videos we put out every day we release new videos every day at exactly 17 hours thank you my friend and 
Hello my friend, I welcome you for today's lesson. Jared Massa, the health educator, is the name of the channel. And today we are going to continue with our show, the fertility show with Jared Massa, the health educator. And today we are talking about the various treatments for infertility. <music> There are several treatments on the market or there are several treatments in the world uh, about how you can actually manage infertility. The first way or the first thing we shall need to point out is that for a person or for a couple to be declared that they could be having fertility issues, you should be you should have been staying together for at least 12 months and then after a period of 12 months and without successful uh, getting pregnant with uh, without successful conception then we can say you could be having issues with uh, infertility so the first way of managing infertility uh, the let us first of all talk about the tests. The tests to confirm that you are having fertility issues is you do what we call an ultrasound scan, specifically a pelvic ultrasound scan, that is for the woman. And then for the man, you are supposed specifically to do what we call a semen analysis test, where a sample of your semen will be taken and then analyzed in the laboratory for the quality and the quantity of your spermatozoa or for the quality and quantity of your semen. If you are having issues with semen analysis then it means your doctor will focus on managing or stabilizing your uh, semen levels and then you'll be able to make your woman pregnant next uh, next keys in managing infertility is that you are supposed to be investigated for tubo uh, tubo patency you are supposed to be investigated for you are supposed to be tested for how your fallopian tubes are you are supposed to check how your ovarian reserves are and then you are supposed to check your womb your uterus how it is can it carry a successful pregnancy so the key here is to identify the tests which can be done the tests are divided into three the first test is looking at the male and then the next test is looking at how your fallopian tubes are. The next is to look at your ovarian function. Then lastly, the test is supposed to look at how your womb is. The pelvic ultrasound scan can give a clear picture of how your womb is. It can give a picture of how your womb is, whether it is having issues like fibroids, whether your womb is having conditions like uh, endometriosis. Endometriosis specifically is the presence of uterine tissue outside the uterus. When you have part of your uterine tissue or part of your womb, the tissue which makes up your womb growing in the intestines or growing in the fallopian tubes, then we call this endometriosis. The only way to confirm this is through ultrasound scanning specifically you are supposed to do a 4d ultrasound scan which is supposed to be done by a radiologist who will confirm to you that you are having endometriosis so the next key is that you are supposed to do what we call an hsg scan or a hysterosalpingogram scan this can show how your tubes Ah, whether they are blocked or they are not blocked, whether they do have adhesions or they do not have adhesions, whether they have free fluid, also known as hydrosalpingitis, or they do not have hydrosalpingitis. So after doing these tests, you will be able to get treatment. And specifically, treatment is divided into many parts, but we shall summarize them. We shall begin in this video, we shall talk about timed pregnancy and timed pregnancy specifically looks at understanding your ovulation calendar understanding your menstrual cycle and then looking at specifically that particular time when you are ovulating we have lots of videos on ovulation i really thank all our friends who have gone through uh, this video on ovulation it's one of our 
most viewed videos which has actually uh, explained which explains in detail how to calculate ovulation using a simple calendar if you missed this video go back after watching this video go back uh, on this channel check through our videos our playlist and then look for that video on ovulation it is fantastic it has lots of information on how you can count your safe days your danger days and then your unsafe days Gerard Massa the health educator is the name of the channel so for you to have timed intercourse, always make sure that you do not put yourself on pressure, on stress, because if you are looking at timed intercourse and then you are putting yourself on pressure, it may be difficult to get pregnant. So you need to relax, you need to manage uh, stress, then you should go ahead and then look at how your menstrual cycle has been flowing for the past three to six months, have a chart, and then look at those days when you are ovulating. The signs of ovulation before we talk about the signs, ovulation is the release of a mature graphene follicle or a mature egg on the 14th day to be fertilized. And specifically, when this has been released, it lasts for only 12 to 24 hours. So you should make sure that you use that time. Thank you for attending today's lesson. Remember to subscribe for new videos we release every day. And we release new videos every day at exactly 17 hours. Thank you for attending today's lesson. I hope you've learned something from today's lesson. Let me answer all your questions down below in the comments. Have yourself a fantastic and healthy day. Gerard Massa, the health educator, wishes you a very fantastic day. Bye-bye. I welcome you on this channel. Have yourself a fantastic and healthy day. May God bless us all. Bye-bye. Thank you for attending today's lesson. Remember to subscribe for new videos we release every day. And we release new videos every day at exactly 17 hours. Thank you for attending today's lesson. I hope you've learned something from today's lesson. Let me answer all your questions down below in the comments. Have yourself a fantastic and healthy day. Gerard Massa, the health educator, wishes you a very fantastic day. Bye-bye.